My name is Hudayfa Abdurrahman, a student in grade 8 at Wajah Success Integrated Academy. I'm going to take you through a microscope. The first thing, microscope is an instrument used for magnification. The, we're gonna start with the base. The base, this is the base. It provides a film support which makes the microscope stable on the bench. The other one is the mirror. This is the mirror. The mirror reflects light through the condenser onto the stage. The other one is the condenser. This is the condenser. The condenser concentrates light onto the stage. The other one is the diaphragm. The diaphragm controls the amount of light passing through the condenser onto the stage. The other one is the stage. The stage. The other one is the stage. The stage is where the specimen is placed. The other one is the clip. The clip holds the specimen in place. The other one is the arm. The arm holds the base and the body tube. The other one is the eyepiece. The eyepiece, this is the eyepiece. The eyepiece contains a lens which contributes to the magnification of the specimen. The other one is the body tube. This is the body tube. The body tube holds the revolving nose piece and the objective lens in place. The other one is the objective lens. The objective lens, the other one is the revolving nose piece. The revolving nose piece holds the objective lens in place. The other one is the, the objective lens. This is the objective lens. The objective lens, it is used together with the eyepiece to bring out the desired magnification. The other one is the cost adjustment knob. The, cord, the cost adjustment knob brings the image into a rough focus by raising and lowering the body tube. By raising and lowering the body tube through a longer distance. The last one is the fine adjustment knob. The fine adjustment knob brings the image into a sharp focus by raising and lowering the body tube slowly over a short distance. Thank you. My name is Sadiq Muhammad, a grade 7 learner at Wajia Success Integrated Academy. I'm going to take you through apparatus used for measuring volumes in the laboratory. The apparatus used for measuring volumes in the laboratory are divided into two categories. Those that are used for measuring volumes that are fixed and those ones that are used for measuring volumes that are not fixed. Under the category of those ones that are used for measuring volumes that are fixed, we have the volumetric flask. The volumetric flask is used for measuring fixed volumes of liquids. Second, we have the pipette. It's used to measure and transfer fixed volumes of liquids. Under the category of those ones that are used for measuring volumes that are not fixed, number one, we have the burette. It's used to measure accurate volumes of liquids. Second, we have the syringe. It's used to measure and transfer accurate volumes of liquids. It's also used to measure volumes of gases released from an experiment. Third, we have the measuring cylinder. It measures, it's used to measure accurate volumes of liquids, but it's used to measure approximate volumes of liquids, but not accurately. We have the graduated beaker. It's used to measure approximate volumes of liquids. My name is Steven Akimi. I'm in a data to Success Integrated Academy. We are going to carry out an experiment on temporary physical change. Temporary physical change is a change that is easily reversible and in which no s new substance, substance is formed. My Asha will take you through the apparatus used in a temporary physical change. My name is Aisha Bashir. I am going to take you through the apparatus used in experiment. And apparatus used in experiment are candle wax, glass speaker, a triple stand, a wire gate, and a source of heat. In our case, we are going to use a portable burner as a source of heat. Sure.
اللعب will take you through the apparatus used in experiment. بشار, I'm going to take you through the characteristics of temporary physical change. One, the change is reversible. Two, no new substance is formed. Three, there is no change in mass. Four, no heat is gained or lost. Join us at WGS Success Integrated Academy where we strive for success. Abdi, I'm a grade 7 student of WGS Success Integrated Academy. I want to take you through a process used for heating purposes. This is a Bansen banner. This is the most widely source of heat used in the laboratory. It is used for heating. This is a test tube holder. It's used to hold test tube and boiling tube during heating. This is a portable banner. It is used for heating. This is a wire case. It is used to support the beakers during heating. It is also used to distribute heat in a, heat in a glass beakers or flasks. This is a three-point stand. It supports beakers and flask during burning. This is a portable burner. It used to hold liquids and solids that are being heated. Round bottom flask. It is used to hold liquids and solids that are being heated. This is a boiling tube. It's used to hold liquids and solids that are being heated. Crucible burner. It's used to support solid substances that need strong heating. My name is Mandak Harun, a grade student of Wajia Success Integrated Academy. I want to take you through the path and function of a Banzen burner. Of a Banzen burner. A Banzen burner is the source of heating in the laboratory. We have chimney. It's a hollow metallic cylinder. On its upper end, a mixture of a mixture of air and laboratory gas is ignited to produce a flame. We have base. It's used to stable on the bench. We have rubber tubing. We have rubber tubing. This connects the gas inlet to th of the Bunsen burner to the ba to the gas tap. We have air hole. It's allow air to enter the chimney. We have collar. It's used to open or close the air hole. We have jet. It's allow laboratory gas to the chimney. Thank you. Um, my name is uh, Mr. Cosmos. I'm a teacher in uh, Wajia Success in Tangrit and Academy. Um, basically, we have so many facilities based on the laboratory as a facility in our school. We have uh, different types of apparatus and the instruments that are used uh, in the laboratory as a science department is concerned. Um, our learners, they are well equipped with the knowledge of the same. They are know how to use them. They can take you through them. And sometimes they normally have the presentation of the same. Um, and um, we are proud to be with them. And um, based on our uh, based on our results, once we examine them, we see the correct performance and the good performance of the same. And we acknowledge for our management for providing us with the uh, adequate apparatus to equip our learners with an orange. Here in Wajia Success, we also offer other facilities. Games again, they are there. For the uh, learners who are best in the co-curricular activities, we are the best in that sector. With the echo of our Mr. Um, with the echo of our director in that sector, Mr. Juma, they are well prepared for that sector. We welcome you in the Wajia Success Integrated Academy, where we strive for success. Thank you so much.